Check. Hey guys, it's Stas and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you guys haven't seen from the title and haven't seen my first video of the series, we are continuing our workout series with hitting a quad focused leg day. And I suggest if you want to follow my full workout routine to watch the videos from start to finish to understand and get to know the full procedure on how I got my body to where it is today. Anyways. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the police. But yeah, I just wanted to focus on an intro for the beginning of the series so I wouldn't have to keep on continuing explaining you guys just like disclaimers, etc. Because I know that stuff gets boring. Trust me, I understand your pain. So I'm just gonna cut the yip yap. We're gonna get straight into the video. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video today and are able to input all of the stuff that I've been trying to teach you guys from my workout into yours. And again, guys, if you wanna learn or wanna understand how I got my body to where it is today, then I suggest that you watch the videos from start to finish. Mine? Oh my god, everyone wants to interrupt my video today. But yeah, then I suggest that you watch my videos from start to finish on how I started this series and then how I'm ending the series on what muscle group that I'm hitting on. Because with my certain split, you have to work on certain muscle groups each day so you're able to let other muscles in your body rest. Basically, it's always about the craft that you put into it oh too, god, but I'm not even bro. trying to geek out on you guys about the workout niche and everything. We're just here for the routine. I know, I know. So I'm about to actually just head to the gym right now and yeah, I will see you guys when I get there. Mwah. Hey guys, we got to the gym and I got my energy drink, me and my BFF! Mwah! Mwah! You stupid idiot! But again, before I do go in the gym, I want to explain that today we are going to be doing a quad focused leg day. If you don't know what a quad focused leg day is, trust me, I have been you before. A quad focused leg day is basically just a workout where you focus on one muscle group inside of your leg, which will be the one that I will show right over here. But don't get fooled because we're not just going to be working on that muscle, but we're going to be just focusing on that muscle with hitting other muscles inside of our leg too. Also with every leg workout that we do, I do not like to put the calf muscle in that category just because I do like hitting it every single time that I do hit legs because who doesn't want some sexy looking calves? Like I know I do. Wrap it up. Exit that way. Yeah, I'm just gonna head inside the gym right now and I'll see you guys when we get inside so we can start stretching and begin our workout. Okay guys, we made it inside the gym and I'm just gonna start my session right now. I'm gonna obviously just put music in the background because I don't want to be talking through the whole thing. But if there's something that I do need to explain to you guys and walk you through, I will cut the audio and I will definitely start explaining it to you. But just to let you guys know, every stretch that I will be doing, I'm pretty much just gonna be doing a hold on each leg for 10 seconds. So definitely keep that in mind when you input this in your own stretching routine. And yeah. Yeah, that's it. Let's just get started. I hope you guys enjoy. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall see what damage I could do. Okay. Be down, I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just want to take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind. I'm a call away, mommy. Come. Okay, so for our last stretching exercise, we're going to be doing an exercise called bootstrappers and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it right now. I usually do three sets of 10 for this because it honestly warms up your knees so much and it's way better for you to lift when you do this exercise before you do your workout. So basically, you're just going to be going into like a squat position and holding your toes for basically the whole time. Like, I'll show you. So you just hold your toes and then you go down. And if that is difficult for you, then I suggest that this move this and have your hand up like that. Just like that. Holding your toes are too difficult than do the one that I just showed you, but usually I like to hold my toes because it gives a better stretch, plus it's a great exercise to start off doing your workout. And again, you're going to want to do three sets of 10 with those. I'll do the first set with you guys, and then I'm going to continue the rest off camera. It's too when I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money with, not take it from me. But they don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be But deep down I think about you all day, mommy I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy I just wanna take you on a holiday All right, so we're gonna be starting our first workout And the things that you're gonna need is a thick plate just like this one and then you're gonna need a dumbbell to whatever preferred weight that you can lift yourself. Now these are gonna be called goblet squats and a goblet squat is pretty much just where you hold something in your hand and you're 
going up and down, but we're gonna be doing an elevated goblet squat since it focuses more on your quads. If you guys don't know, this is your quad. Like this is your quad. There are three different muscles inside of your quad. I forget what they're called, do not quote me. But yeah, there's three muscles inside of your quad and obviously today is a quad focused leg day so we are going to be focusing on our quad. And for these ones, I do like to push myself with because you guys don't know me. Something that you guys are about to learn from me is that I love quads. Like I will literally work quads till I pass out or till I freaking throw up, okay? So for these kind of workouts, I always try to push myself and what we're going to be doing or me personally, this is what works for me. I like to do four sets what of 12 for this workout. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. So I'm gonna do the first one on camera and then the rest I'm just gonna do off camera and I'll see you on the next workout. All right, now that we are finished with goblet squats, we are going to move into the hack squat machine and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Basically, this one is self-explanatory. You just grab onto the handles like this and then you're just gonna wanna squat with the machine. It pretty much guides you to do the correct form. What I personally like to do myself is I like to go up 10 pounds after every set and I start off with 25 and then I finish with 45. So that's three sets of 10 with this. Yeah, just so you guys are able to do the correct form on your own. I'm gonna do one of my sets with you guys on camera with background music and then the rest I'm gonna do on my own on camera. So yeah. She found a time in the wind, it's cat, nigga can't even see me in your wind, she can't. She found a flight, nigga, when it's cat. She found a flight, man, I'm way out of here. She found a flight, nigga can't even see me in your way out of here, I'm too fine to scan. Hermes, Ash, for the dark, my ash. Bitch, so pretty, little better than Cassie. Puffing on Zooters, and she calling me daddy. Walking on shit, turn it up, and I guess. Came out the gutter, they ain't never me to swag it. Secure the bag, got a bitch, I'm a bag it. Turning it up, got a make sure she good. Parking two million and building my hood. Making no mud, I made out of the sewer. Grow hard accessories, whatever, I'm good. A lot of these niggas, they looking the same. They copping my lingo, they biting my chain. Membership, championship, man, she's gonna empty, she bitch, breaking into the look Guys, I apologize for the loudness in the background. There's other classes going on right now that's right next to me. But for our next workout, we are going to be doing leg extensions. I personally call these quad extensions because they work more for your quad. Obviously, today is a quad focused leg day for us. So basically, this is probably gonna be the most, most trickiest workout out of all the ones that I do today, just because of how much you're gonna need to push yourself on this machine. So technically, you can call this a superset that I'm doing right now, just because of the way that I do it. I like to start off in, this is three sets, okay? So you're gonna start off at your own weight, the most that you can lift. Like, I personally, the most I can lift on this is 100 pounds, right? So I'm gonna start off at 100 pounds and then I'm gonna go up eight times. Then I'm gonna go down a couple pounds. I'm gonna go like down 20 more pounds and go to 80. And then I'm gonna do another eight. And then after that, I'm gonna go down another 20 pounds and then we're gonna do 10. Or you can, if you wanna push yourself with this one, you can do till you can't no more. But I personally stop at 10 just because my legs can't take it. And you're just gonna basically do three sets of that. It's definitely gonna be the hardest workout that you do in your quad focused leg day. But I know if I can do it, you can do it also. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do the first set again on camera with you guys. And we're gonna put some background music in front of it. And then the rest of my sets, I'm basically just gonna do off camera and yeah. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I want you guys to get the correct format out of it, so yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, just so you have the correct form with this machine, you're gonna wanna make sure that the knee, whatever this is called right here, is touching the front of the seat just like this. And if your seat is more back than where your back is, all you gotta do is just elevate your back like this, but you wanna make sure that the back of your knees, I guess, that's what you call it, are on front of the seat like this, so you don't mess up your knees. Because if you are out like this, like if you're out like this working out, you see how my knees have like a little gap in front of the seat, or whatever these things are called. That can mess up your knees really bad and it can give you pains later in the future, so I just suggest not doing that. Make sure you're all the way back on the seat and just lift up. I'm done talking now, I'll show you guys how to do it. I better find your love, yeah. I better find your heart. 
workout and it's gonna be leg press this is what it looks like leg press is basically self-explanatory i mean there's nothing really to explain just to put your feet on this thing and then you just go up and down up and down and it works a lot of different muscles in your leg which is really good because today we are focusing a lot on quads and we really aren't really focusing on any other muscle groups but it's also just a better pump for yourself and just a better workout in general. Set up my camera just so I can show you the correct form on how to do this. Okay, and just to let you guys know, we are going to be doing three sets of 10 with this. And then after every set, we are going to go up another plate, which so far we start off with 45 and then we go up with another 45. And then our last set, we do three 45 plates on each side. If you guys aren't able to lift that much, that is perfectly okay and that is totally understandable if you're just starting then i was there with you once and again the more you work on it the more you're gonna go up and improve so so just stay consistent and we're gonna get there together okay we're gonna get there together basically we're just gonna do three sets of 10 i'm gonna show you guys how to i mean like again pretty self-explanatory um just put your legs up like this and then you have these two levers right here you're gonna push up and then take those levers out and then just start spotting. I'm gonna put some music in the background so it's not that boring and let's get into this workout. All right, guys, we are on our second to last workout on legs. And if you can't tell already, you actually can't really tell that much, but it is so crowded of where I am right now. Like, I feel so embarrassed just talking to myself. It's kind of weird, but I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna try my best to just explain this to you guys as thoroughly as possible. But the second to last leg workout we're gonna be doing is called sissy squats. And you're gonna wanna have like a table like this. And basically there should be a le lever on the top like move it down you want to like pull that lever out and then you're gonna put this all the way down right over here just like that and then you're gonna want to put your full weight down over there and then we're obviously not going to be using a rope for this one but we're going to be using the other one actually the one that I was using yesterday for my tricep pull downs and again this is just most comfortable for your legs but a straight bar if you do not have this one at your gym a straight bar can also work too in my opinion just very uncomfortable and it just doesn't help me out <laughs> flip this in here like that and then it's gonna be like basically just gonna be going in a squat motion but it's going to be focusing more on your quads since it's gonna be levitated just a little bit That's basically it I mean I explained everything that should be needed. I'm gonna do again how I've usually been doing. I'm gonna do my first set with you guys on camera. There's gonna obviously be background. You guys know the deal. You guys know the deal. For us, I'm gonna do off camera. But for this one, it's kind of different. So you're not gonna just do three sets of 10. You're actually going to do two sets of 20. And then for that last set, you're gonna do 30. Just because we're not having any weight in our hand and everything, we're just using our body weight. The more repetition, the better defined for your muscles and the better workout you're gonna get in. So um, I'm just gonna do two sets of 20 and then our last set, we're gonna do 30. And yeah, I'm gonna do the first set with you guys on camera. Enjoy. Uh, me and my name 
niggas tryna get it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Hit that house, yeah, like tell me, is you with it, you bitch? Yeah, bitch. Home invasion, what's persuasive? What's persuasive? What's persuasive? From nine to five, I know it's breaking, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. All right, guys, last but not least, we are going to do some halves, and I actually do a superset with this one also. So basically, the machine looks like this. All you gotta do is put preferred weight on each side right over here. Um, I usually put 45s, and I superset it by doing something else with calves. Yeah, this is basically it. I mean, like, I'm gonna, okay, so what I usually do is I start off, I do 12 on here, with both legs and then I move to this little thing that I have right here in my gym I don't know if you guys have like a weight rack thing but this is what I use I take off my shoes for doing calves also basically after I'm done with doing 12 reps of the calf machine I go right over here and then I do 20 on this side right like this on only one leg just because this is my weaker leg and I want it, want it to be as strong as this one and I want both of these legs to be equally strong so I like to focus on this one more so to be honest it's actually pretty common to have a weaker side of your body than one other side um for me it's my left side is weaker and then my right side is stronger so I like to just you just do a little bit more with the left side of my body than the right side of my body so yeah uh what I'm gonna do is I will do another 15 with just this like this do another 15 reps with my left calf and then after that i'll go in right after and do 20 on both legs just like that i'll show you guys uh like a full set in action but yeah um i'm gonna get into it right now i'm gonna set you guys up and yeah you guys know the drill we're gonna put some background music in the back so yeah, you guys know the deal. I'll see you guys, see you guys during the workout. I saw Saul and I talked about me, you bitch. You bitch. Pumped the car, then we start rhyming, you bitch. You bitch. The only thing we had to free our mind. Free our mind. Then freeze that verse when we see dollar signs. See dollar signs. You looking like an easy come up, you bitch. You bitch. A silver spoon, I know you come from, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. And that's yeah, bitch. a lifestyle that we never knew. We never knew. We never Go knew. at a revenue for the revenue. Go. Holly Berry or Holly Blue. Pick your point. Going on to the other, to the little other set. Everybody go and stick the shoe. But the one in front of the gun lives forever. The one in front of the gun forever. And I've been hustling all day. It's a way, better way. Do canals and alley. All right, guys, we are finished with our workout finally. I feel like I've been here for freaking hours, but I'm just gonna do the ab workout that I did yesterday. If you wanna see what I do for my abs, I basically do this routine that I showed you guys yesterday every single day. And then when I do have a free stretch day, I also imply abs and that's, we'll talk about that in another video just because we're, we're focusing on our quad leg day. So basically just gonna do what I did yesterday, but stay tuned for the ab workout routine besides the one that I'm doing right now. And if you do wanna see what I'm about to do right now, make sure you go check out yesterday's video that I posted. It's the first workout routine in the series, but I'm not gonna continue to explain it to you since I've already explained it into another video and honestly I just think that would be pointless so I'm gonna go do some abs right now make sure you go watch the last segment of my other video to see what ab workout routine that I implement into my workouts every single day and yeah I'll see you guys when we show our pump all right guys we are finished now let's see a pump wow! Wow! pump for today guys i say we had a good workout i think i think today was a pretty good workout as always guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope that you can learn something out of this video also and implement it into your daily life but as i do after every youtube video that i post i make sure that i put an emoji for you guys to comment in the comment section just to see for me if you guys watch through the full thing and if you did watch through the full thing and are gonna comment the emoji that i'm just about to say in two seconds I love you and just know that I always look out for my babies and I always look out for the people that have my full support. So kisses to you. We're gonna, let's see, what one should we do today? Hmm. Okay, wait, I got a good one. All right, I want you guys to comment the headphone emoji down right here. I'm gonna put it right here. 
make sure you comment that in the comment section just to see for me who watched the full video and who actually stayed till the end and yeah i hope again i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys are able to understand and learn a little bit from what i do with my workouts and yeah, we're still having, we have a couple more days till the series ends because this is only the second day out of the six, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be doing. But again, yeah, if you want to see the continued workout routine tomorrow, we are going to be hitting a different muscle group. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed once more. I love you so much. I will see you in the next workout routine series. And yeah, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Love you. Bye.